Hey guys, XTJX here. And today on this vlog, I want to talk about iOS 13 leaks, iOS 12.4, iPhone 11, and possibly Watch OS 6 and the Apple Watch Series 5. I'm going to start with iOS 13. There's been so many leaks out there that you don't know what's going to be anticipated, but WWDC, which is Mark your calendars, June 3rd, the week right after Memorial Day, exactly a week after Memorial Day. But iOS 13, I've seen some leaks, and they actually have on the home screen like your activity. You can actually message somebody from the home, from the lock screen, and you can actually do something, do other cool things just by the lock screen. And I think that's pretty cool. But I know a new volume HUD is coming to iOS 13. And they say a new home screen layout, which I'm not really sure I believe because we've had this boring concept since iOS 7. And mainly what I've been thinking they do is they've been adding new features, of course, like low power mode, series shortcuts, and stuff like that. But over time, it's starting to get boring, like the app layouts and stuff, or the UI. I mean, it's been the same flat icons, it's been boring, and people's been getting upset over the years at WWDC because I think they've been mainly focusing on under-the-hood improvements and bug fixes. I know that was the major point of iOS 12, which is now in the beta stages of 12.4, and 12.3 mainly focused on the new TV app, which I don't really find interesting, and it's just a plain update. But I think iOS 12.4, it's in the second stage of beta testing, and I think the Apple Card is going to be introduced sometime in 12.4. Not really sure yet, because they say it's coming out this summer. So I guess we'll see on that. And I'm a little confused by the Apple Card exactly. I don't know if it's a regular credit card, or if anybody can get it. I'm not sure if it, like they check your credit score or stuff like that to get the Apple card, but they say a physical one is going to come out as well. It's going to be like a titanium card, and that's pretty cool, actually. But as far as iOS 13 goes, I really hope they revamp the UI and make icons like circles like they do on the Apple Watch because I think the circles are pretty cool, actually. And I've also seen that at the very top of the iPhone, these are just leaks I've heard on YouTube and Facebook and all that, that they actually have a widget on top where you can look at the weather or you can choose any widget you want on the home screen above the apps of your choice. And I think that's pretty cool. I think iOS needs to start doing widgets because it's a very, people have been demanding it they want to customize their home screen just like on Android. But Android is a different story. You can pretty much download anything from the Google Play Store. The App Store is a little bit different. It don't have any buggy apps. I mean, there's some bugs, but they don't, they don't have bugs that like antivirus or viruses or anything like that can get on your phone. But... I think the App Store on the Apple Store is more secure than Google Play because Google Play, anyone just about can put apps on the Google Play Store. But with iOS, they have to go through like a bunch of steps just to publish an app. But anyways, back to iOS 13, there's going to be a new volume HUD button. I think it's at the bottom of the screen there where you can adjust the volume from anywhere, not have to use the volume up and down buttons. And I'm more anticipated about dark mode instead of this white crap. I mean, we need dark mode. It's been anticipated since iOS 10 or 11, and we still haven't got it. I mean, the Mac OS got it before the iOS did. So I think that's what should be in iOS 13. And they say that Siri is going to have improvements and better multitasking on the iPad, which they say that every year, and it don't really seem 
that thrilling to consumers. Consumers won't change sometimes. And I think iOS 13 is the time to do that. And I heard they're going to be working on some FaceTime bugs and stuff like that. But I think they need to focus on changing the UI. And over the time length of iOS 13, like 13.1 or whatever updates they do, I think they should look like just work under the hood of the new apps and the UI. And 12.4... I haven't really seen a difference in. I know it's in the second beta stages, but I haven't seen a true difference in it. They say the battery life on 12.4 is better than 12.3, which is currently to the public. That's the update to the public now, 12.3. And I'm just anticipating a big overhaul with iOS 13. But what I said was I'm more anticipated for dark mode and over the course of the next few months all apps they're going to try to make apps in dark mode or compatible with dark mode and i think that is pretty awesome now that's my coverage for ios 13 i know i probably missed some stuff but just watch the leaks again on youtube and see what they come up with now i'm going to talk about ios 11. sorry gosh iphone 11. um I've seen the leaks, I've seen the, like, boxy camera and all that. Like, I think Apple could do a little bit better than that. I mean, it's bulky and it rises up a little bit. I just sometimes ask myself why Apple doesn't make the camera flush with the iPhone instead of having that bulk budge out. But... I think they did a pretty tacky job. I mean, Apple has been known for clean lines and stuff like that. But the camera is about the size of an Apple Watch face to me. And I'm asking myself, why couldn't they just put another lens vertically like they have on the XS Max and the X and above? But, or they could have actually did it horizontally on, on top of the iPhone, they could have did a camera horizontally, but they chose to do this box, shape of an iPhone, gosh, Apple Watch, and make it into a bulky camera. We're not sure how that's gonna work yet, but the iPhone is supposed to have a brand new A13 chip, it's supposed to be better performance. I'm not sure about RAM yet, how much RAM is gonna be on it, I think they need to up their game to four because most phones have two and I know Android sometimes have four. So I think Apple needs to up their game on that. But as far as the iPhone goes this year, it's just going to be the same materials and stuff like that. They're not going to use anything different. But... 5G integration is coming in 2020, I've heard. They're going to make the iPhones 5G compatible, which they're behind on Android on that. Android has already come out with a Galaxy S10 5G, and some other companies have also had the innovation of doing that as well. They've already made it into the 5G era. I mean, I know sometimes your phone says 5GE, but that's not... 5G, it's just LTE, 4G enhanced is what it is. But I know Apple got sued by some companies for false advertising the 5GE. And I mean, I believe that if the phone's not 5G, it shouldn't even say 5G. They could have did better just having LTE, just more advanced. But anyways, that's my topic for the iPhone 11. I don't know what they're going to do about the charging ports. I think it's just going to be the same thing. Just a standard lightning cable and no headphone jack, of course. They got rid of that a while back in the iPhone 7. In the iPhone 7. But that's my conclusion on iOS. God, I keep saying iOS when it's iPhone 11. I've heard they're going to come out with iPhone 11 Max, the regular iPhone 11, and I think they're doing another XR version, 
with many different color choices, but I'm not sure if that name is confirmed yet or not. I'm not too sure. But, um, now it's time to cover watchOS 6. I haven't heard much about it. I've seen pretty cool leaks about it where it's supposed to, like, have more widgets and stuff like that and more clock faces and stuff like that, which I think Apple Watch Series 4 has done a pretty good job with the new faces because you can put multiple stuff on it. And I don't know what to expect of what Apple Watch Series 5 because I know some of these off-market watches, they already have like blue clothes, blue blood glue glue cloak god i can't say it blood glue close monitoring and they have blood pressure monitoring as well and i think that should be integrated in the future in the apple watch because i think people need blue blood glue close to watch their sugar and especially if you're diabetic and i think you should also be able to monitor your blood pressure because that could help a lot on certain things. Like now we just have to use a regular blood pressure monitor to monitor our blood. I mean, Apple's did a pretty good job with the ECG app on the, app, the Apple Watch 4. I mean, you can check, but it don't say if it shows a sign of heart attacks or anything like that. It just gives you a census rhythm or something else. And I've heard on the radio also, it actually saved a woman's life because she ended up having kidney failure and they sensed an irregular heartbeat and stuff like that. And she said the iPhone, God, Apple Watch Series 4 actually detected an irregular heartbeat and she went into the hospital and she found out she had kidney failure. So the Apple Watch pretty much saved her life. But I don't know what's to come of the Apple Watch Series 5. I really don't know. I haven't really heard many details on it as far as like iOS 13 and the iPhone 11. I haven't heard much on the Apple Watch. And I've heard they're coming out with AirPods 3 this year. To, I guess, rival the other competitors like the Samsung Galaxy Buds. And I've heard Microsoft is going to be making wireless headphones to compete with Apple. And I've heard Amazon is going to be making wireless pods also. But I haven't heard more on that lately. But I knew, do know it's coming later this year. But... I don't really know as far as the Apple Watch Series 5. I haven't heard much news on it or Watch OS 6. I just hope they come with the Watch OS 6. Comes with more optimizations. It comes with more customization. And also on iOS 13, I think they're coming up with a font management system. So maybe we won't have to deal with the boring San Francisco font anymore. But that concludes my video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I probably didn't cover a lot of what's expected, but remember, mark your calendars for June 3rd. You will learn everything at WWDC 19, and I guess we'll go from there. I'm going to try to install the beta because to see how it goes, but the only thing I can install my beta on is my main phone, and I'm not sure if I want to do that. Maybe I can wait till the third or fourth beta to fix the bugs and stuff like that because everyone knows beta one is going to be buggy and not work right but so i'm going to try to wait for the ios 13 probably public beta two or three and try it but anyways that concludes my video guys like and subscribe if you need to anyways later guys